What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna to show you how to connect your Square Terminal to VIP Shop Management. The first step you need to do, you need to, you need to sign in with your email first and check for any updates, make sure the machine is up to date. Once you do that, uh, you need to sign out and go back to this screen. And once you do that, you, gotta, you need to come back to VIP Shop Management and uh, you need to go to where it says uh, Square Terminal. I need you need to click on add square terminal and you got to click on authorize let's see if I can play with the zooming click on authorize and you need to it's gonna take you through the setup where you need to sign in just type in your email and password and then you click on request a device code um, it's gonna select your business name. If you sign up, if you were able to sign in automat like uh, successfully, it will bring you to this page. If you don't have an account, make sure you go to square.com and, and create an account. And just click on right here, processing. It's gonna give you a device code right here. Uh, that's a device code right here. Let's bring back to, go back to the, to the score term, we're gonna click on sign in. You don't type in your use your username and password. Instead, we need to click on uh, sign in. Use a device code. And there's a, I know there's a ten digit. We're only gonna use the first five digits. So there's uh, let's go back here. There's five digit. Uh, we're gonna bring it back here. We're gonna type the five four five digit uh, B N C M S. Oh, sorry, M S Q. And we're gonna click on sign in. And then it should go load and it should get you to this, uh, to the second page where it's gonna say you're ready to take a payment. And that's it, that's all you're gonna see from now on. If we go back to VIP right here, and we just, the only thing we need to do is click on test connection and successfully and that's how it works. Now you're ready to take payments. Let's see how that work anyway in the real life. I was just gonna click on this customer right here. Assume we have an um, all change. And we're gonna click on authorize. Click on authorize. And when we're ready to take a payment, pay an invoice. Let's say pay, and we're gonna say credit card. Charge them credit card fees. And it's gonna send, send to score terminal. Let's see what happens. See what happens right there? It sent the amount automatically to here. I'm using my phone. Let me see if I can pay it. You can pay by phone or you can use whatever you want. Um, let's check this out. Authorizing. And approved. Let's check out how VIP is going to handle that right here. And it's not, in this case, sorry, he needs to sign and done and let's go back to vip vip is successfully and so it's kind of automatically it goes automatically um let's print the invoice So if we look at the invoice right here, see if we can zoom in, and that's how it's gonna, so it's gonna be on, everything is gonna be on the same invoice itself. You see it's paid by Visa, and that's the authorization code. Actually, I picked up the wrong one, sorry, but it's the same thing. But like I said, it's gonna put it automatically. 8 p.m. So that was the invoice. Yep, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, thanks for watching.